Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will revise about actinic keratosis, which is also known as solar keratosis. So, what is actinic keratosis? It is usually benign, scalp spot found on sun exposed areas like scalp, hands, forearms, or face. What are the risk factors for actinic keratosis? Usually, sun exposure and immunosuppression are major risk factors. So, how does the patient with actinic keratosis present to you? Usually, the patient is middle-aged or elderly fair-skinned person and there is fixed erythema on the face which can be pink, red or brown. The lesions are slightly palpable which is crusty with poorly defined borders to very thick and hyperkeratotic that is like warty lesions. It's benign but a small proportion may progress to squamous cell carcinoma. So how do you manage a patient with actinic keratosis? You can use field treatments and physical treatments. I will elaborate on both of these management options further. Field treatments you can use diclofenac that is 3% for mild lesions. Example, for palpable but not very visible lesions, you can treat with 3% diclofenac sodium. And for thin lesions, you can prescribe 5 fluorouracil. And for moderately thick lesions, 5 fluorouracil combined with salicylic acid can be prescribed. For confluent lesions, imiquimod is the management option. So for this condition you can remember that there are four management options for mild lesions, thin lesions, moderate to thick lesions and confluent lesions. That's about the field treatments. And what are the physical treatment options available? You can do cryotherapy and it is suitable for thin lesions. The disadvantage of cryotherapy is it does not allow histological diagnosis. So that's about actinic keratosis. I hope you like this short revision guide. Please like and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more revision guides like this.